Welcome to Allenberry Reports TV. I'm your host, Allenberry Labucan from AllenberryReports.com. Today we have a new installment of our In the News segment uh, where we talk about resource companies with recent developments. Before we get started, I always like to send some thank yous out. Uh, first of all, we, uh, we use uh, two websites to uh, be able to bring these shows to you. Uh, we use Ustream.tv and YouTube.com. Uh, we have links to both of our uh, channels on those uh, websites. They're really great sites for uh, anybody interested in uh, doing an online show. Um, really easy platforms to work with and uh, we highly recommend them. Uh, in addition, uh, if you look to the uh, left and right of the um, of our uh, screen here on our website, you'll notice that we have some banners. Uh, those companies are uh, kind enough to support us and uh, help bring us uh, bring our shows to you. And uh, if you want to do some homework on those companies, just click on their banners and that'll take you over to their websites where you can do that homework. Uh, and most importantly, we want to say thank you to our viewers. Uh, without you, we wouldn't have a, a reason to do the show. So thanks a lot for showing up and uh, watching the show. Okay, on uh, today's show we have uh, three resource companies to talk about uh, and they're involved with oil, copper and uranium. So we've got a good mix of commodities today um, and we have a lot to talk about so we'll get right to it here. The first company we're going to talk about today is uh, UTS Energy. Uh, on the disclosure, we're no longer a shareholder of the company as they were a recent, uh, uh, recently taken over by a, another company. Um, they uh, are a featured company in our Allen Berry Reports uh, email newsletter. We started coverage of them on October the 30th, 2008. That was our 20th edition. And uh, we also had them on uh, one of our past uh, shows on our when we were doing them uh, uh, just on Ustream. Uh, that was the July 22nd, uh, 2010 show. And if you uh, go to the link up there, uh, the, U Street, the little U button uh, icon, and uh, click on that, it'll take you over to, uh, over to the uh, Ustream channel where you can find that show. And uh, uh, their website, although it's been minimalized uh, due to the recent takeover, uh, is www.uts.ca. So uh, the news that uh, we wanted to talk about was there uh, on October the 1st, 2010. If you go to their website, uh, just look for their uh, news section and uh, you'll find this, uh, or there's a link to the, this press release. Uh, the, the news was the announcement that um, they completed the, acqu uh, they were, the acquisition was completed. Um, of all of its uh, outstanding shares of UTS Energy. Uh, its main asset was 20% uh, uh, interest in the Fort Hills uh, mining project in the Athabasca region of uh, Alberta. Uh, under the terms of the plan of arrangement, UTS has transferred its assets other than its participation in the Fort Hills Energy Partnership and certain other assets to Silver Birch Energy. Uh, a newly formed uh, company, uh, the shares of which uh, have been distributed to UTS shareholders. Um, why we like this company is, uh, you know, we're long-term bullish on uh, oil uh, and um, the uh, oil sands up in Alberta are an important source of that, uh, especially here in North America. Um, this project, uh, uh, this Fort Hills project is an outstanding project and um, Total of France uh, uh, decided to take the uh, uh, UTS over at a pretty handsome um, uh, uh, evaluation and so uh, there's no longer a UTS uh, energy to talk about. Um, another thing that uh, we like about or we wanted to talk about was the uh, sort of end game that we uh, look for uh, when we're when we're picking companies uh, to add to our uh, newsletter, um, you know, usually we're looking for one of two things to happen uh, after a company has made an important discovery. We're either looking for them to uh, turn into a takeover target or 
uh, go the uh, other route, which is to uh, bring their projects into production. Um, one of the reasons that we're so excited about companies that can bring their pro uh, have success with their drilling and find something important that they can bring into production is because uh, they can uh, move into that middle tier category, which is underserved at this time. And, you know, not enough companies are in that uh, category due to all the takeovers that happened in the last uh, four or five years. Um, and uh, unfortunately, it doesn't look like UTS is, well, is not going to uh, move into that category because they, they went the other route, which is the takeover. And, uh, but they still have, uh, the shareholders got one-tenth of a share for each share they own in UTS in the new company, Silver Birch, which will uh, give them exploration potential upside uh, in in that company as well. And um, uh, so, you know, though the, again, uh, this is a, we'll, we'll be adding this company to our uh, list of what we call our Hall of Fame companies. These are companies that uh, go that uh, have success with their exploration, find something important and move into one of those two categories of trying to bring it into production or uh, get taken over, which is uh, where uh, UTS, uh, the route that UTS went. We've had uh, five companies now uh, out of the 40 some companies that we picked, five of them have um, uh, been taken over and one of them is in the process. So we're we're having a pretty good, uh, pretty good uh, results with our uh, takeovers and uh, UTS is another company we're adding to our, uh, our Hall of Fame, if you will. So that's a, a wrap on the chat regarding UTS. Uh, the next company that we're going to talk about today is a company called Peregrine Metals. Uh, on the disclosure, we're not shareholders of the company. Uh, they are a featured company in our email newsletter. Uh, the first time we uh, covered them was in our April the 8th, 2010 edition, uh, which was our 28th edition of the report. Uh, if you want to find that report just uh, above me on our website, is uh, there's a uh, report section. We've got all of our past reports on there, and you can uh, uh, either read the report online or uh, also download it on a Word file. Uh, we made that really easy for everybody. Uh, we've also had them on one of our past uh, shows here on Ustream, on our, uh, our, on our Ustream channel on our August the 10th show. The link to Ustream is above me there on our website. And uh, just look for the August the 10th show. Um, we their website is uh, peregrinemetals.com. That's P-E-R-G-R-I-N-E. M-E-T-A-L-S dot com. They had a news release out on October the 4th that you can find on their uh, on their website. Uh, what they announced in there that uh, measured and indicated resource at Altar increases 74% to 802 million tons, grading 0.44% copper equivalent containing four, um, sorry, 7.41 billion pounds of, co of copper and 1.53 million ounces of uh, gold. Uh, inferred, uh, they also talked about their inferred resource, uh, which has another uh, 465 million tons, uh, at, and uh, that equates to about 4.32 billion pounds of copper, um, plus 880,000 ounces of gold. Uh, and uh, they also mentioned in the pro press release that this is based on uh, a total of 55,000 meters in 140 holes has been drilled into Altar to date, and the deposit remains open in at least two directions, laterally and at depth. Uh, they mentioned in the press release that Altar has uh, road access, relatively low elevation, potential water sources on site, and the topography is suitable for mining and processing infrastructure. Uh, recognizing the substantial increase in resource size, Peregrine Metals is proceeding with a preliminary economic assessment on a combination leach and concentration mining operation to examine the best scenarios for mining and processing this large copper gold deposit. Uh, they 
Also in the news release, they had plenty of additional information about the their updated resource calculation with all your disclo uh, disclaimers and whatnot. Uh, uh, you can find that on their uh, on their website. Uh, and they uh, completed extensive drilling to add to this resource. Um, so, you know, uh, uh, Peregrine Metals is a company we've been following since they started trading not too long ago. Uh, they've got a really strong and well-connected management team uh, led by uh, Eric Friedland. Uh, this key project of theirs, Altar, is a, uh, from what they're talking about in their uh, resource calculations whether you, when you're looking at uh, their their inferred uh, measured indicated and inferred uh, quite a substantial amount of uh, calculating in the billions of pounds of copper um, we're really big fans of uh, we think that uh, copper is uh, uh, the supply chain is in much need of new discoveries to that uh, can feed future demand and uh, so we're always on the lookout for uh, projects that have uh, large resources of um, uh, copper and that's uh, definitely the the category that peregrine's in and uh, now they're moving towards their uh, e preliminary economic assessment of the project so they've been doing a lot of work they're moving it along quite nicely and it looks like it's got a lot of potential Again, if you want to do your homework on the company, the, their website, peregrinemetals.com, is a great place to start your, your homework. So that's a wrap on uh, our chat regarding uh, Peregrine Metals. The next company we're going to talk about is Hathor Exploration. On the disclosure, we are shareholders of the company. They're also a featured company in our email newsletter. Uh, we started coverage of them on September the 9th, 2010, or sorry, 2007. That was our 14th edition. You can find it above on our website. They were also on our Ustream shows uh, on July the 29th and September the 22nd. Uh, their website is hathor.ca. That's H-A-T-H-O-R uh, dot C-A. Uh, they had two press releases, one on September the 3rd. They announced that uh, their drilling has commenced on their Russell Lake property in the Athabasca Basin. They go on, the fall exploration program at Russell Lake will include ground geophysics and approximately 3,000 meters of diamond drilling. The, the uh, Russell Lake property is, in the wet, is within the eastern corridor of the Athabasca Basin. Uh, this corridor uh, accounts for 100% of current uranium production in Canada and more than 20% of global primary uranium supply. Then on September the 28th, they had uh, news out about their uh, 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 Midwest Northeast property in the Athabasca Basin. Uh, they had some preliminary uh, radiometric surveys done on their uh, drilling there, and it's coming back very promising. Um, and uh, you can find that on their press release. They went into a great deal of details about how extensive the drilling program was this summer. Uh, that was the 2010 summer drill program. They did 52 holes. Uh, 125 of their holes uh, are have hit uh, the right kind of mineralization, um, and they have plenty of results with very high-grade uh, um, uh, uh, uranium. So we're looking forward to the results from the lab testing of that uh, drill core, uh, but uh, everything is going very nicely for Athor. Um, uh, you can uh, you can find more. I have some really good maps on their. Um, on their uh, website uh, attached to this press release too that'll give you some idea of the exploration success they've had with their drilling. Um, we like the company a lot because of its uh, high-grade intersections of uh, uranium and that uh, they're focused in uh, the Athabasca Basin of Saskatchewan which is the most important source of high-grade uranium in the world. Um, again a good place to start your homework on them is at their website at hathor.ca. So that's a wrap on our chat regarding Hathor. And uh, before closing, we'd like to stress this show and our, uh, and our reports are for information purposes only. We aren't making buying or selling recommendations. It's important for you to do your own research and speak with your financial advisors before making any investment decisions. We're always trying to grow our audience. If you can send out an email to your friends that follow the markets, we'd really appreciate that. We also really appreciate you taking the time to watch the show as we're well aware everybody is very busy these days um, 
we our next show will be tomorrow we're going to have another in the news segment uh, uh, talking about some uh, resource companies with recent developments hope you can join us for our show you can find all of our work at allenberryreports.com we hope to see you for our upcoming shows have a great day